I have to ask you about Boris Johnson. He created a bit of a storm last week, it's fair to say. This morning, in his column, uh, he had a chance to try and clarify some of those comments that, rightly or wrongly, have offended many people and it's created a stir. It's also created support from some people, I suppose uh, it's fair yeah, to say. Yeah, it has yeah. indeed. But what's your reaction to the fact that there's been absolutely no comment at all from Boris Johnson this morning? Well, I note, uh, obviously, that Boris today has been commenting on housing more broadly and how we actually move into a home ownership approach, something that I personally strongly endorse and strongly support. But on the broader issue of Boris's previous comments, well, look, they, they did cause offence to a number of different people. Uh, Boris himself recognised that there should not be a ban on the burqa. I think he's right to not be prescriptive in relation to what women should be free to wear. Now, obviously, there is an ongoing investigation that my party is conducting in relation to complaints around those comments. I think it's important that that now takes its course, that, that is followed through, and why I think that that now mm. is the right way to approach mm. this. Would and you... uh, obviously, that will, be, that will be followed through in that way. Um, if you had made those comments, would you now apologise for them? Well, I, I wouldn't have made I wouldn't have made those comments. I think that you do need to be careful on the way in which we approach what are very sensitive issues. To actually advance that debate, to advance the debate, I think Boris was seeking to do around the rights of women and Would actually like how we should celebrate. Would you like to apologise, Jay? Would you like to, for the good of the party, in a sense, you know, sort of it would perhaps put this investigation to one side. He could apologise for making not the comments themselves about the issue, but the way in which he made them. Would you welcome an apology from Boris Johnson? Well, you know, that, that, that was now for, for Boris as to how he wants well, to respond to this. He will have... He let's, will put have well, let's put it this way, Mr Brokers, right? He will have heard the calls that have been made by the Prime Minister and the party chairman. But, but what I would say is that the right way to approach this now is for the investigation into the complaints to take place. That is what needs to happen privately and be advanced in that fashion. Why? But, uh, I think it's appropriate for me now to say that is the way in which this needs to be advanced rather than getting drawn back into some of these issues, given that there is now an ongoing investigation an in relation point. to those it's comments. Been, it's, it's an important point. Had you said those comments, Mr Brokers, it's a very, very simple question. Had you said those comments, would you be apologising this morning? Well, I would certainly... Uh, as I, say, I, would, I would not have chosen the words that Boris it's has done because of the yes offence. No. Would you, would you apologise, yes or no? I, I, you know, I, as I say, you're, you're trying to put me in a position where... I'm saying something that I would not have said, because I think it is important that we do respect and acknowledge the... I think the, the, you know, the way in which this has created some real understandable, yeah. genuine concerns in so the I community and how... I finding it uncomfortable, Mr Brokenshire, to say that Boris Johnson should apologise. What's behind that discomfort? Well, I, I, think, I think... No, it's not. I think that, I think that Boris's words were wrong. And that, and that, therefore, you know, I would not have chosen those words. Why, yes, they have caused the issues that they have and why it is right that there is a complaints process that's now ongoing in relation to that. I think that, you know, I can't be clearer than that on the... You, you could. Uh, ...the asks <laughs> that the apologies be have been made actually. and how, you know, I would, I would reflect on the words that have been chosen very, very firmly because, you know, I profoundly believe in the huge contribution that British Muslims make to our country, the diversity that we should celebrate as a country as a consequence and do they of that. Deserve an that apology? is something that I have championed over many, many years and will continue to okay. do so in on, terms on of that, the, the work that we Brokenshire, do. Brokenshire, you're, you're very supportive of the British Muslims. Now, their representatives, arguably one of their biggest representatives, the Muslim Council of Britain today, have said that uh, Theresa May should really treat this seriously. Only a few weeks ago, they wrote a letter. This is before Boris Johnson's comments. They wrote a letter saying there is a problem with Islamophobia within the Tory party. They gave at least half a dozen examples of people online, on Twitter, Tory party members being racist or Islamophobic, is it now time, then, if you're saying you support British Muslims in this country, is it now time for a full-on investigation about Islamophobia, just like the Tories are calling for anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, but is it time for an inquiry within your party? Well, I'm not going to prejudge the, uh, the work that is now ongoing in relation to complaints that have been made in relation to Boris or any other individuals. We treat all complaints extremely ser seriously in this regard, rightly so, because of the comments that I've been made and the party that 
uh, we are in relation to diversity and actually ensuring that we are a country that works for everyone. You know, it is, I think, that that very firm approach that I take as community secretary in being able to celebrate and actually underline the freedom of people to be able to worship, mm. to conduct their lives as they see fit. And anything that seeks to uh, lead to people being attacked or vilified is something that needs to be confronted in the strongest terms. And we will deal with all complaints in that regard.